These are the best 3D printers of 2023. The best 3D printer by far is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. One of the best things about this 3D printer is how fast it could 3D print. This is it 3D printing in real time. The video is not sped up at all. While an average 3D printer can print a Benchy, that boat that you see everywhere, in about two hours, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo can 3D print a Benchy in just about 17 minutes. Another really innovative feature of the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo is the AMS, or the Automatic Material System. You could print multiple materials, or multiple colors, or a combination of both. Also, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon comes pre-assembled. All you have to do is disassemble some protective packaging. It probably has one of the best setup experiences. Setting up the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon feels like you're setting up a spaceship. It's unlike any other 3D printer on the market today. While the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo may come in at about $1,500 USD, it's a great value 3D printer. Because it prints two to three times faster than your average 3D printer, it's just as productive as owning two or three 3D printers. While $1,500 may seem like a lot for a desktop 3D printer, it's absolutely worth it because this printer is a beast. Next on the list, we have the Creality Ender 3 Pro. This is a good option if you don't want to spend a lot of money. It's a really great budget 3D printer. The Creolander 3 does require a good amount of assembly. It'll usually take about 1-3 to three hours to assemble. You can get a Creolander 3 for about $200 USD, and if you're lucky you could find a really great deal for only $99. The Creolander 3 is probably the most popular 3D printer of all time. This is because of its really accessible price point. However, this 3D printer may require a lot of tinkering. It may be difficult for beginners to get used to bed leveling and the nozzle could often clog. If you don't mind tinkering and trying to fix things a lot, and if you like upgrading things, then this 3D printer is a great option. Because of how popular this 3D printer is, there's a huge community and a ton of information out there about troubleshooting common issues. Overall, the Creality Ender 3 is a really great budget 3D printer. If you're brand new to 3D printing, you're looking for a great value, you don't mind tinkering, then this 3D printer is for you. Next, we have another Bamboo Lab 3D printer. This is the less expensive version of the X1 Carbon. It's essentially the same 3D printer, but all the extras are stripped away. Instead of it coming with an enclosure, you could 3D print your own. While it doesn't come with all of the features that make the Bamboo X1 Carbon really cool, you can still print extremely fast for about half the cost. So if you want a top of the line advanced 3D printer, but you don't want to spend $1,500, you could spend about $700 and get the Bamboo P1P. The Bamboo Lab P1P is probably going to become one of the most popular 3D printers. It's strategically priced to be just cheaper than other really high quality 3D printers. And you could still print with multicolors and materials. If you want a really great value top of the line 3D printer, then this is the 3D printer for you. Next we have a classic and a really popular one, the Prusa i3 MK3S. Prusa 3D printers are really popular in the world of 3D printing. The company has a strong history and the printers are known for their reliability. However, they're not nearly advanced as newer companies like Bamboo Lab. A lot of credit must be given to Joseph Prusa for being one of the early pioneers of 3D printing. Prusa 3D printers require a significant amount of assembly. However, there are pre-assembled options available, but you will have to pay a premium. The company Prusa 3D itself has a really strong brand and community. So if you want a classic high-end open source 3D printer, then this is the option for you. And lastly, we have the Creality CR10. This is a great budget, large format 3D printer. The Creality CR10 is easier to assemble than the Creality Ender 3, and the build volume is much larger. You can find this 3D printer for around $300 to $400. This 3D printer, however, may require a lot of tinkering, and you may struggle with bed leveling if you're a beginner. But if you don't mind tinkering and you want a bigger build volume, then this is a great 3D printer for you. So here's a quick overview of all of the 3D printers. If budget isn't an issue, then 100% I highly recommend the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. If you're looking for a really popular, entry-level, great value 3D printer and you don't mind tinkering, then go with the Ender 3. If you want high performance and insane value, then I would suggest the Bamboo Lab P1P. If you want a classic, high quality, open source 3D printer, I highly recommend the Prusa Mark III. And if you want to print really large objects and you don't mind tinkering and you have a technical mindset, then the Creality CR10 is a great option. 
My go-to 3D printer right now is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. It's extremely easy to use, extremely fast, and very reliable. The 3D printer that I default to next is the Creality CR10, and this is mainly because of the large build volume. Overall, all five of these printers are extremely great and all really popular for their own reasons. You can find links to them in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy printing.